Hi guys, welcome. Hi Abby, welcome. I'm surprised we don't have more. <laughs> Everyone will start popping in now. I'm just going to post up my little live stream rules. Can you hear me okay? Hi Alicia. Hi Shannon, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Hi Candace, welcome. So I'm um, going to do a couple of flip throughs today. I don't know what I'm going to colour. I'm thinking maybe something from this book. Because it's new. I have a whole heap of flip throughs for you though. Hi Stephanie, welcome. Hi Betty, welcome. Come in guys. Hello Heather. Hello Helen, welcome. So um, I have a whole heap of links in my description uh, of the books that I'm going to be flipping through today. So uh, if you're looking for links, they're there. And uh, I think I might colour something from this pretty book. So this one is one of the flip throughs I'm going to do today. Let me see if I can uh, get all my links up here. This is Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlzone. Uh, this is the first one I'll flip through, and uh, hi Nicole, welcome, and Betty, welcome. So this is the first one I'm going to flip through. I've just popped the link up there. This is Spirit Animals. I have um, a couple of other flip throughs to do today. I've got Christine Karen's new book. I've got uh, Mystic Mirror Art. I think that's how it, how it's. Um, that's pronounced. Uh, their galaxy, her Galaxy Girls book. I've got Monia Gates's Water Realms coloring book, and I've also got one of Mary Olabutic's packs to show you. And Laura Rafferty has something that I want to show you as well. Hi Holly, welcome, sweetie. I just emailed her again. Uh, I still have not heard back from her, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try different avenues after the stream today to contact her. Hi Laurie, welcome. Come in. Hello Rochelle, welcome. Shadow was saying hello to everyone before. <laughs> um, welcome everybody. Come in, come in. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm not sure whether to do some water mediums or do pencils. I can't do markers in this book because it goes through. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do yet. Oh, you did? They're pretty good for touching up things and, um, yeah, I don't mind them. They're great for the... Um, art journaling. <laughs> Hope you enjoy them, Helen. So, um, I guess I'll just get started, hey? What have we got? How many have we got coming in? I've got a few now. I've got a few now. So the first book I'm going to go through with you is this one by Hannah Calzone. And this is the one I'll probably uh, do an image from today. So we'll do the flip through first. Um, so this one is Hannah Calzone's how many books has she got now? I actually, actually, not including artist editions and special editions and things like that. But I think there's six now. This is number six. Um, so yeah, did you guys all get to see the Hannah Calzone community project videos? Because most of those are out now, um, which is really cool. Hi Linda, welcome. Hi Mary, welcome. Come in, come in. Hi Fern, welcome. Um, there's a few videos. There's one on Sammy's channel, one on Isabel's channel, one on Becky's channel, one on Sky's channel, and there's another one, and I can't remember who hosted the other one. 
why am I completely like I don't know it's left my brain my brain's not working today <laughs> but, um, the uh, community project was where the community coloring community got together and everybody picked a coloring page from the book and um, well there was people chosen uh, for the coloring book pages and they put them together in a video so you could see the whole book colored by different colorists it was really good <laughs> no worries oh no that's right thank you Shannon <laughs> I knew it it was there it just didn't um it didn't compute <laughs> the brain and the tongue didn't work anyway so this one is spirit animals it came out a little while ago but I didn't realize and uh, it had been a month since I actually got anything new I, I sort of didn't purchase anything last month so at uh, last month being July because it's already September um, so yeah I ended up getting these in the middle of August so they finally come through but I also ordered um, Coleridge Wild 4 which still hasn't arrived yet. I was hoping it will have arrived by today, but um, it hasn't yet. So I've still got that coming, uh, which unfortunately we'll have to do another time because it didn't come in time. So there you go. <laughs> uh, also, I think like three magazines have come out since uh, my last haul. Shh, shadow. Um... Issue number 50 by Jurian Attic. Issue number 51, which was Nil Nilek Shoemaker. And issue number 51, I should say, and 52. And there's a new one already coming out. And I ordered the special to the Halloween special one too. So um, that is on its way. So I've got some more. Yes, Shadow. She's trying to get out, actually. She is. Hi Debbie, welcome. Hi Beth Ann, welcome. Hi Loretta, welcome. I only ended up colouring Candace. I ended up doing two. One was a double page and one was a single. I was supposed to do another double page, but I just didn't end up getting time. So Sky ended up getting it filled by someone else. So we're going to go through this one first. Oh gosh, that light's really bad. <laughs> Hello, Shadow. <laughs> um, I've only done a quick sort of flip through it. I haven't actually looked at them in detail, so today will be the first time. And I'm also going to be looking out for one to colour as well. So, So the book is exactly the same quality as the previous books. And somebody actually told me that she's supposed to be uh, changing her... This is the last book through this particular publisher, that she's changing her publisher. So um, I don't know what that's going to mean for her newest books. Hi, Shelley. Welcome. Um, oh, the Halloween one. Which one was that? Seasons? Is that right? Oh, you mean the magazine, Loretta. Uh, I had two copies. I ended up giving one away. Um, I can't remember who ended up winning that, but I think it might have been Janet. A little bit of a steampunky look there. The witch one? Hmm. Maybe... We'll see. Not gone but lost before. What? Not lost but gone before? I don't know. <laughs> Get some fish. Looks like a queen. A ferret in that one. I love her facial expression. Just like, hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, Morticia. <laughs> You think you are, Bethan? Uh, it's pretty. I haven't done very many in them. I've got all of them now, but um, yeah, the oh, I've done a couple aside from the ones I did for the community project ones. So, do one with acrylic paint and Prisma colors. I did one with uh, Prisma color and pastels. I've done a few. And a couple of marker ones, but I've printed them on my own paper. Penguins. What are they? Oh, lizards. They're like um, chameleon ones. She's hiding in amongst the flowers. Peacock. That's a pretty one. A bat. A lima, she's actually quite cute. I like her too. Should have done the lima tail around her neck. <laughs> oh, Helen, no. pretty one. It's a metal there. It's like a white rabbit maybe in the Queen of Hearts. Snake. <laughs> what word are we talking about? I'm a little lost as to what we we're explaining there. my favorite oh yes I like that one too mice another fish Just a bit of like a mermaid there sweets and mice is it a mouse I don't know it's got a funny tail is it some sort of possum maybe Lizards. Hi Kenny, welcome. Huh, you thought what? Ah, the same normal time. You've missed it by ten minutes, so whatever time it is now, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Rooster. Oh, a dragon. We do like dragons. The pirate one for the parrot. What is Abby going on about now? Uh, chinchillas. Oh, okay. Cool. The little sweets ones. Bees or bumblebees. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I like that one. A phoenix. A doggy. This has kind of got a really big mixture of um, images, isn't it? Different styles. Mulberries, parrots, butterfly. I don't know if butterfly is not really an animal, but the one with the things coming out of her mouth, yeah, it's not that great. I'm allergic to bees too, so. <laughs> Seahorse. 
<laughs> They're very detailed. There's actually like, that's the second steampunk image too. Not sure, Ram, but I'm not sure why they're skulls. <laughs> a unicorn. I think everybody's either a unicorn or a mermaid. I think I'm a mermaid. <laughs> Scorpion. Another cat. That's cute. I like this one. And uh, a heart. Swedish based illustrator. Daydreams, summer nights, magical dawn seasons and jewelry box. And now this one which is spirit animals. So the publisher for this one was Gibb Smith Publishers. So uh, I, I think my understanding is that the next books will be by a different publisher. So yeah, but they're pretty. Very pretty. Unicorn. <laughs> Hi Lily! Hi Rinka, welcome! <laughs> oh you do Holly? I actually built up an intolerance to their stings. Um, I don't know why but I've been stung a lot. Um, especially as a child I used to stand on them or lay on them or something and um, now when I get stung I blow up like a balloon. And uh, Alyssia is actually allergic to bugs and ants and things like that too. So we're not sure how she'd react to a bee sting, but um, probably not very well. <laughs> anyway, um, that was Spirit Animals. I did get mine off Amazon, Amazon US. Um, and it's US, it's Amazon International. So it posted here to Australia. And I actually got it fairly quickly. I wasn't expecting to get this before the Coloridge Wild because I ordered them at the same time so um, yeah it came quite early I was quite happy with that I'm not sure if perhaps they did have a supply here in Australia and that's why it came so early but um, I was not expecting that so the next one I've got is I have a couple wrong button I have I have three others all ready to go. I actually kind of four because uh, one of them sort of got two in it. Uh, but I think I'll go through Mystic Mirror Art. And uh, the links are in the description. But these ones are on Etsy. They are PDF copies only. But it has got music. So enjoy. We've got some rock music today. I don't know why, but I felt like it. So um, if you're not in the mood for rock music, you may want to turn, <laughs> turn down your music. But I did put it on low uh, onto the video, so it's not going to be extremely loud straight away, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So uh, let's have a look at it. This one is Galaxy Girls, and as I said, it is available on Etsy. I'll pop the link here for you by Mystic Mirror Art, I think it is. I always say it ran the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too so let's go all right here we go maybe let's just see how we go
so that was the Mystic Mirror Art or Mystic Art Mirror. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. I'll get it right. Mystic Art Mirror. It's called. They are. She is. Uh, Christina, her name is. Uh, beautiful books. I have all of her books. Uh, two of them I have the physical copies of and the rest I have all of the PDF ones. Um, and they're absolutely beautiful. Very, 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 very pretty. So uh, I've got a couple more. So should we keep going? Did we enjoy the music on that one? Hi, Captain and Cece and Linda. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, I really like that galaxy one and I can imagine lots of uh, watercolour in that one. So uh, doing galaxy backgrounds with watercolour is so much fun. But yes, very good, very good. Okay, let's keep going. All right, what's next? Okay, this time I've got a book by Monia Gates. Here we go. I do have to say that um, some of the images go onto Instagram and search um, Monty Gates because some of the images that have come from that book are absolutely beautiful. I've seen some awesome ones already. Um, so that's part, it just says part one. So there may be more of those. I know that there's a couple of others that she's done. Uh, I know she's got forest and water and a couple of others now. So air she did air so I think she's done like a whole thing and she may put them together into one book so I'm not sure exactly what her plans are for those but they are so pretty as well all right so the next one and I'll just post the link up there again for Monia Gates book this is a fantasy water realms one and um let's do some more so I've got two sort of squeezed into one here I was looking for some practice pages to do some skin tutorials uh, to do with light source for patrons and um, Laura ended up giving me a circle portraits practice page for patrons so that will be coming out shortly um, and in the process I ended up buying this little pack from her Etsy store uh, it's a little practice pages with faces so noses mouths eyes um, and a couple of other things so that's the first three in the set that I'm going to show you next and um, then also I purchased one of the sets from Mariola Budic uh, uh, coloring set number four it is and it's got a few beautiful little um, fairies and things like that in it there's also in that pack it came with two sets of the images one was a light grayscale and one is a darker grayscale so I'll be showing those as well so let's pop in and have a look and hello to Bev, Pam, Katrina, Nick and Tina, uh, Pat and who else just dropped in there that I saw before uh, I think that was all of you hello and welcome so we're going to flip through uh, the practice pages and it, from Laura Rafferty and then the other little pack from Mariola Budic as well. 
So let's have a look at those. Okay, wait. <laughs> we had a, a, hang on, we had a, just a little bit of a meltdown then. The uh, computer just went, what are you doing? Let's try that again. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what I'm doing? I'll just reload it. And we'll try again. Okay, let's try that again. Bear with me, it's not working. Here we go. Well, that was interesting so sorry about that <laughs> I was just reading through chat yes Linda got to uh, cuddle Nani and she is very cute uh, Jo Beth welcome uh, Nani is just growing so quickly uh, it's impossible to keep up hi Grayson welcome so <laughs> did you get to see the both of those packages I'm not sure what happened with that one it didn't really like me at all uh, so the first one was Laura's practice pages Maybe we can have a quick look at those again. This time there's eyes, nose, mouth, ears and hair. That's the first page. Uh, then there's some little portraits in circles to have a practice at skin and portrait. And uh, then there's a second page of the same thing. So that was her book there. So that is... Laura Rafferty's Face Elements Practice Pack, which is here. Hi, Rebel. Welcome, Christina. And everyone, everyone else that's come in since and I may have missed. And then the second part was Mariola Beauty. Now, um, she's got a few of these colouring pack sets. I think I've gotten a couple of them now. Uh, also picked up hair, which was a little while ago. I've done a video for that. Um, but yeah, she's got some really awesome stuff. And that's her link. Okay, so my last one that I want to go through is one that I'm actually working on an image for patrons at the moment. I'm doing Esmeralda. She looks so pretty. Um, yeah, that's all I've done. I haven't done anything over the weekend. Uh, it's getting too busy on the weekends now with Nani because she's so full on and uh, we're trying to teach her and train her and things like that as well. So not much happened this weekend. But I do have the flip through of that. So let's go and have a look at that. Let's hope this one works.
mention here that uh, there's actually two of Esmeralda here because I actually cropped it closer so I could print it out and I forgot to check it out. There is actually one in the book of Esmeralda. All right, so that was it, Christine Karen's book. Now, I did post up the um, Amazon links. I forgot to grab the Etsy link. It is a PDF as well, so you can grab that in grayscale and in line art. So if you're not into grayscale like I've just shown today, you can get it in line art as well. Um, also, with all the books that I've gone through this morning, there is no watermark on them, of course. That's just my video watermark, so it does come without that. Now, I didn't hear what happened. Somebody's printer wasn't working. I did see that. And um, I don't think there was any other questions about the books. Okay. What, what happened? I just saw somebody getting upset. I don't know what happened. Printer. Ah. Okay, so what uh, kind of computer are you using? Um, yeah, both of them, Holly. Um, what kind of computer are you using, uh, Shelley? I was just going to ask. I find that mine prints lines through it if I try to print anything through Word, which is absolutely crazy. I don't know why, but when I print it directly from the, um, I don't know, what do you call the Windows program you open up an image in? I don't even know what it's called. Um, photo gallery. If I print it from there, it seems to print perfectly. It's so random uh, that it's printing strange. See, Linda, I don't know. <laughs> I was just saying that before you came on. I don't know how I got this so quick. I ordered it when we talked about it. And I also ordered um, the... Um, Colorage Wild 4. I still haven't got that, but I got this first, which is really weird because usually it takes around two weeks uh, from the US. So I'm not sure. Maybe they did have stock in Australia and uh, that's how I got it so quick. I don't know. Oh, I've had that too, Helen, where it's only printed a part of an image. It's so random. Um, actually, with my HP, I don't use it anymore, so it doesn't really matter, but um, it did the same thing. Ah, uh, yeah. So maybe you need to convert them to JPEGs. Uh, there's heaps of programs that do it. Um, you can do it directly from Adobe if you have Adobe. But um, you can only do it with the paid version, I think. But yeah, if you can convert them to, which is what I do with my flip throughs, I convert them to a JPEG so that I can do flip throughs of them easier. It's too hard to do it, a flip through from a PDF. Um, so yeah, maybe that might be the best thing. Oh, what? <laughs> Thumbnails. That really does suck. So we've done heaps of books today. Um, Christine's, I'm going to do a speed coloring and a flip through uh, once I've finished Esmeralda. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And there's images in there that she's been bringing out over uh, the last six months or so. And they've all been put into the book. So I think there was only a couple that were new. 
that I hadn't seen in the shop yet. So one of those was Esmeralda and uh, I'm sure there was another one there that I hadn't seen before. But anyway, uh, they're there now. So pop over and check out our Etsy shop as well. Yeah, I hate that, Lulu. Um, we had issues actually with the first uh, Epson workforce that I brought. It just stopped connecting to everything. It, the computer couldn't find it. The internet could, wouldn't connect. So I ended up having to replace that one. But I've had no problems with this one. So let's do an image. I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit uh, conflicted. I am, I am, I am. I'm not going to finish it today, obviously, and uh, I'll finish it up for patrons, but which one will I do? And do I use pencils or something water-based? <laughs> yeah that's right Helen if you had most of them you were lucky you didn't need any more um, I don't know I want to do something from here but I'm kind of like hmm. I quite like the um, fat girl I really like the cat one. Oh, she's cool too. We do a ladybug one. I like her. I think she's pretty. Hi, you need to help me pick a picture. Which one am I going to colour shadow? Oh, really? Mm. I like her too. She's kind of cool. Maybe I should do a pristine image. I'm not sure. I can't decide on these ones. <laughs> I'm having a... No, I'll skip that page because uh, that one's got creepy crawlies on it. I don't know what these symbols are, so I don't want to do that. Alright. <laughs> the witch picture with ink tents. <laughs> so who is there a gaze for... Oh, thanks, Lulu. Is there any... Uh, we've had a few for the witch. So is anyone, everyone happy with the witch? Because I can do that. And, and let's just vote. Somebody said intense, but I don't know. What a... Ugh, sorry, Linda. <laughs> Where is that witch one? There it is. Hi, Shadow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cuddle? Ah, oh, cuddles. Cuddles from Shadow. Cuddles? Ah, oh, cuddles from Shadow. We like cuddles. The bat one was good too. Yes, witch. Do the witch. Uh, do the witch. Do the witch. Okay. We've had one bat, but the witch. Which, 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 which? Yes, she is adorable. Let's just do the witch. 
Um, now, oh wait, before I do the witch, guess what I did some more of? Look how much I've done now of this awesome image. <laughs> it's getting there. Just move my camera a little bit because Shadow's sitting there. Um, so I think when I finished my stream for the thing, I'd done about that much. And um, I've added all of this in and I'm still obviously doing the little bits and pieces. But how cool is it starting to look? Um, yeah, very cool. starting to do really well I was going to record it but I struggled uh, on the weekend with my camera and I ended up just doing it because I didn't want to let the camera deter me from just getting it done and I really want to finish that one so yeah all right what have we got I have I'm not sure how ink tents are going to go on this paper so let's give it a go we might have to do that we might might have to do it onto a piece of plastic and do it like watercolors because I don't think they work that great. I'm not sure. So I'll get my little board out in case we need to do it on that. Got my water things. My brushes yes shadow don't touch my brushes and I've got some water here yeah well I probably I'm thinking they might not be that great either Loretta but if we do it like because this side's the rough side and you can like scribble onto this and you can do it like watercolor so I'll do both. I'll have a little play with it. Let's do... Ink black first. Let's have a little play with this hat. And um, we'll just see what it's like. I'm going to use my... Lo Cornell. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but that's what I'm using today. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, there's no room to to uh, blend properly. I think on the paper. And uh, once you've activated it, you can't reactivate it, so that would make it hard for ink tents, I think. That brush wasn't very good either. Too big. Let's try number two instead. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Shadow? You're going to have to get down because I'm going to start making a mess and you're going to be like, what are you doing, Mama? <laughs> Just going to tape a border around it. Yes, Shadow, it's tape. <laughs> you're a nutto. Good job. No, don't eat my tape. Shadow. Shadow. She's eating the tape. <laughs> Pretty much. She's going to grab it in a sec. Shadow. No. Don't eat my tape. I'm just taping the book down so it doesn't wrinkle and crinkle. And um, I'm just putting a bit of a border around it as well. Shadow doesn't like <laughs> Shadow. 
She does not like the tape. She says, get it off my desk. <laughs> Hi Joey, welcome. Hi Tony, welcome. It's going under here now, Shadow, so you won't be able to get to it. Alright. <laughs> there you go, all gone. All gone. <laughs> she really did not like that paper, I tell you. All right, let's just pop a little bit of tape here so that it doesn't go over that edge there. Okay, done. All gone, Shadow. You can't have it now. It is all gone. Really? She wants to eat it. <laughs> I don't have long today, guys, so I'm going to be finishing up in about an hour. I'll do them as much as I can here on camera. And um, and then to the rest. Now, I am going to go and draw in the hat black here. Yeah. And uh, the, you don't need too much water. So I find that using the water brush pens is a little bit more difficult because it's harder to control how much water comes out of them. So I'll be using the brushes. It just makes things a little bit easier. And um, we'll do that. Shadow. Shadow. Really? Can you just like move? Thanks. So this is ink black, by the way first. Just trying to keep that nice and smooth too because uh, you can see sometimes the pencil marks underneath with ink tents uh, depending on what paper you're using of course. I'm just going to do a bit of a line down it. for a highlight and I can come back in over the top with some pencil if it's not quite right too Shadow is being a rat bag. Aren't you? She's in a mood today. Hey, you're in a mood today. She's being silly. So I'm not planning on smudging this out uh, anywhere. So that's why I decided to use it directly on the paper. I'm just going to try to... <laughs> Shadow. Fitbit's going off there. Move your nose. Move your nose. Shadow. What are you doing? <laughs> You're making it very difficult for me. Hey? Okay. 
So just a small amount of water so that you don't uh, buckle the page and so you can just blend out the black. Smooth it off with some water. She <laughs> thinks it's really good. She thinks that she she wants to have a go. She keeps looking at my brush like she wants to chase it. Eh, it's not coming out too bad. I'm going to need to pick a highlight colour, perhaps purple. Actually, this isn't doing too bad on here. Um, I used the museums on one of the images for the kind of for the community project thing. Um, the museum pencils they worked all right I did a bit of both I did a bit on directly on the paper and a little bit on the board and then putting it onto the paper But the museums aren't as pigmented as this, so, well they are if you're putting a fair bit of pressure on them. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to use some dark purple. I'm going to actually put it on my board and use the brush with it because I want to stick it in the areas I've already wet. And uh, I don't really want to go back in with over, over with pencil because uh, it's not quite dry. So that was dark purple and ink black. Hi, Mrs. Coffee. Welcome. Just going to lay it in the middle of the hat as well. Shadow's in the way. <laughs> Aren't you, Missy? Oh. I haven't tried the gold paper ones yet. I've picked them up twice when I was at the art shop. Excuse me. Um, and put them down twice. <laughs> Because I've seen something else that I've gone, oh no, I want that instead. I'm going to use a little bit of red oxide for the skin. And I'm going to use it on the board. And then put it onto the skin. I've also picked up the uh, pans of the Intense... The Intense watercolor pans I've picked those up as well and have ended up putting them back you have to make sure that uh, it's completely dry before you put any other color on too otherwise it will pill Shadow, you're making it really bright. Because you're sitting right under the light and it's reflecting off of you. Little wrap bag. So this is just red oxide. 
I quite like this colour. What colour hair should she have? I'm thinking I might do purple hair. Um, gonna go with dark purple. Maybe a little bit of magenta or something in the highlights or yellow. Actually, let's do yellow because yellow is good with purple. I'm just leaving some of the highlighted sections and I'm going to go back in and put in some some yellow into those areas. Oh, you're just starting to move, are you? No, I thought you were going to move away. Excuse me. <laughs> I used <laughs> red oxide. <laughs> for the skin. <laughs> Are you right? Just cleaning yourself. Madam. I'm using dark purple at the moment for the hair. Yes, Shadow, I can hear you snoring away. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but let's just give it a go, hey? I'm going to add more skin colours later. For now, I've just done the red oxide. Let's use cadmium yellow. I am hi Jennifer. I'm using ink tents, do and ink tents. <laughs> Just a little bit of hair here. Cadmium yellow. I'm hoping it'll be safe considering uh, I've used purple. Let's give it a go. Hey, let's see what it looks like. I know she's just, she's making me feel like someone's looking over my shoulder. Aren't you? Just 
try to clean off my brush before I go over the yellow shadow. <laughs> You're not. You really are. Decided to go over the yellow first so that the purple doesn't blend into it too much. Shadow! You can't have my pencils now, stop it. She constantly looks like she's trying to go the go the grab. I just moved because you're in my way. Apparently I'm in her way. Not the other way around. So I'm using a brush so I don't use too much water. I think I need some violet or something in here as well. She is really enjoying it, aren't you? Ah, right. oh, just, just pencils went in my. Uh, you're funny. I think I might put something underneath that cloth. Stop it from going through to the other side. Hello. You going to move now? That would be awesome. Come and sit over here. Come on, over here. Come on, over here. Out of my way. Come on. She's like, don't you try and move me. Don't you dare. Mia, welcome. Thank you, Shadow. She gave me my camera back. thing I notice is uh, when you do watercolor pencils and the colors can go a little chalky and dull looking on some paper this paper not being uh, bright white it's going to change the color slightly as well I think we could. Oh, really? Madam. I 
think we're going to need something a little brighter in there. I think that doubled off too much. So what else have we got in here? I should probably have my ink tents uh, color chart sitting here. And so I can see the colors. Super color. where it is <clears throat> excuse me losing my voice there they are I have a color wheel somewhere too but I don't know where it went I think I'm gonna add a little bit of deep violet and I'm going to put that on here because the paper's already wet and give that a go. <laughs> She's funny. She is funny, 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 funny. Now that's much better. It's just a little bit brighter than the other purple. It's not quite so dull. Well, it works really well off the palette if anyone was worried about doing them in the book. I'm only using a small amount of water though. So this was a uh, deep violet. have the blocks I have looked at them a couple of times but considering I've got the whole set of pencils I'm like nah because I've got the board here I can scribble it on if I want to get really dark color so yeah I'm, I decided not to just getting a little bit more water there So for the other side, I'm just going to go straight in with this colour. I don't like the other one. I think it's too dull. For the other side, I should say. This time I'm going to use the deep violet on this side.
I'm just going to leave those tops of the hair so I can fill those in with the yellow. I was just thinking, um, Linda, I think I ordered this directly from Amazon. It didn't go through book depository or whatever it does go through sometimes. I made sure it went through Amazon because the other place comes from the UK and it takes a month at least to get it. Okay, now let's add in that cadmium yellow. This side's going to be heaps brighter. I might have to go back in with that darker colour just to darken some of the shadows because we've done that on the other side now. Hmm, it's weird. Unless somebody else sent it to me. I don't remember. I didn't check the thing. I'm pretty sure this is the one I ordered though. <laughs> Maybe I should check that. <laughs> Shush. Yes. <laughs> we um, had a little bit of a scare with her yesterday because we've got Nani um, and she's still toilet training. We, we have a bit of a gate blocking off the front area of the house so that shadow shadow sort of protected a little bit from the dog and um has her own little domain but uh yesterday was father's day here so we're all you know fussing about doing breakfast and things like that and uh shadow just decided to walk out of her little domain and uh the door was open the back door so she just decided to go outside so we're all sitting down eating breakfast and um Cameron just sort of looks out the door and he's like, uh oh, don't panic, but Shadow's outside. <laughs> she doesn't go outside ever. So uh, we had to kind of go out there and coax her back in and make sure that the dog didn't chase her as well because if he, if uh, Nani had have chased her, she would have probably gone over the fence. 
and that would have been it. No more cat. <laughs> It was a bit stressful. Huge difference in the colours. That is scary. See, we're um, not supposed to have animals. They're allowed outside as long as they don't go off your property. Um, so we've just had her as an inside cat. She's too expensive to um, just let roam outside. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a bit scary. She's a little bit of a, what do they call it, agoraphobic. She doesn't like open spaces. Um, but because it was out sort of underneath our pergola, she wasn't really fussed. Because it was like being inside. I think. We're going to have to put some of that darker colour in to the shadows for this because it looks too strange now. <laughs> Both sides are different colours. I definitely like that brighter purple though. Goes much better. So just got that uh, dark purple. I'm just going to stick a little bit into the highlights, to the highlights, into the shadows. Kind of trying to match it up a little bit with the other side. There we go. A little bit darker. And I also think we can go back in with some of that skin colour again. And, uh, It's close, not quite as close, but it's close. <laughs> All right. Um, 
I'm going to use the deep violet. No, I'm not. Let's do the um, throwing. Let's do the throwing of the pencils. Because that's always a good idea. A little bit more of the red oxide and this time I'm going to use it quite strong and just do some shadows. We're going to need to put some sort of yellow in there so it's not looking so orange or red. All right, what have we got? Let's use silicon yellow. Silicon, is that how you say it? Sicilian, my bad. <laughs> Sicilian, Sicil yeah. <laughs> Two two zero. Oh, you know. Just gonna water it down a little bit so it's a light colour over it. She needs some nice coloured lips. I'm going to go with um, Scarlet Pink if I can find it. <clears throat> Scarlet Pink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got the home <clears throat> bag. sick there's her lips Just give her some red fingernails can't really see them but give her some dark uh, dark purple eyebrows To match her hair. And I'm going to use the uh, cadmium yellow. 
to fill out that little star and that on her head there. And I'm going to use the cadmium yellow in the earring here. I'm going to need to come back over with a white gel pen to add in some highlights because uh, the hair colour has gone into it a little bit. It's hard to see her, isn't it? Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, she looks pretty fuzzy. What colour eyes should she have? Should we give her bright violet eyes? Or... Yeah, let's give her mauve coloured eyes. Maybe, if I can find mauve. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Loretta. I've got my, well, I could do the sparkly paints or I could do the, um, do the, what are they called again? Link of Stella. Colors that would go with it. <laughs> She's got violet colored eyes. Well, it's actually mauve. Mauve in the bracelet and cadmium yellow in the other two. And I think my time is up today. I'm not going to be going till 12. We've got mother in law coming today, so. We're getting there, slowly. It's not buckling or wrinkling or anything. I'm gonna use a little bit of crimson. Crimson. And I'm gonna use it as a wash because I'm gonna be putting it on her face. Just a little bit on her cheeks here. A little bit of the dark violet just on her eyelids there you go she's wearing makeup <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna use a tiny little bit of white uh, antique white just to blend it off a little bit I think we should I'm hoping it will smooth it out I don't know because I've never tried it but we're gonna do that now and this is just white. Let's see if I can just blend it all in, maybe. I don't know if that did anything at all. <laughs> I'm hoping it did. Obviously, I'm going to go back in with some gel pen anyway, but to do the highlights. I'm just going to let that dry a bit. Thank 
Pinky. Oh, Loretta, thank you. What kind of skin, Katrina? This skin? Uh, I'm not, I'm doing, um, I had some questions about blending uh, some markers, so E04 into the other colors. So I am going to do a quick video on that, which is already ready to go. I just need to upload it. Um, and I'm doing an episode on Patreon with Laura Rafferty gave us a free image for patrons, which will be coming, um, where I did some skin highlights and things like that. So um, that's coming as well this week. <laughs> it's actually not, it's blurry too, I've just noticed. That's a little better. Um, what, where do you want me to put them? I'm not finished yet though. Oh, my paint pen's leaked. I want a paint pen. Yeah, Loretta, I just do the one now. I did have a lower one with just colourless, but um, it was, um, there wasn't much content on there. So it, uh, this is the Wink of Stella. This is purple. I think it's cold. Hang on. Glitter violet. Oh, it's very glittery. <laughs> And it comes out really quick. And I've got glitter orange. Apparently it is, but um, it's just glitter. It's gold. It's pretty, actually. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but shiny bits with the white gel pen yeah I'll um hopefully I just use that glitter violet up into the hat there That actually looks pretty. I just covered over the whole hat with it. to see but she's got a glittery hat now <laughs> it's pretty you can kind of see it sparkling in the lights sort of sort of still a bit wet and it looks blurry but I don't know the actual camera's in focus so Just went back and did a couple of different. Hmm. Strange. Strange, strange. Uh, now, I'm just going to use a white, not the paint pen. I'm going to use this uh, Pintor one. It's not quite as thick as the other. And uh, it gives, it can blend it or smudge it a little bit better than the other one 
just going to give her a few highlights. Just smudging them out with my finger. That's it. Oh, hello. Well, there you go. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> ah. Um, she has some wild flaming hair, and you know what? I'm gonna put um, I need to put something else in there. It's it's not quite right yet, but maybe we could put some glitter in her hair too. The glitter doesn't come up under the scanner when I scan them in, so we're not going to be able to see this in the finished product, most likely. But for the purpose of the video, making it look pretty. <laughs> I quite like that in there. I haven't actually used this on a picture, so there you go. Nice to be able to use a product that I've uh, purchased. <laughs> So I'll be setting up the Dawn Davidson uh, colour along today or tomorrow morning. Uh, if I get time today, I'll do, try and get it done today. And uh, you guys can pop over and get a free image and um, follow along for the next colour along. Which I don't know what we're going to be using yet. You can't really see it under the light, I'm sorry. But uh, I just made it all glittery. <laughs> How do you make that? I don't know. You can kind of see it there. And I can't move the page very well. But, <laughs> but um, I will pop it up. Hope you enjoy th this one and all those flip throughs. And I will see you very soon for Dawn Davidson on Friday. Yay. <laughs> I'll finish this one off on camera for patrons too, so you guys who uh, wanted to see it can. Maybe I'll be able to get a nice photo of it with the glitter on it as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching.